In this example, we're going to go through and solve probabilities for a random variable that has a, a Poisson distribution. The random variable x is the number of radioactive particles that travel through a counter in a millisecond, and during a laboratory experiment, the average number of radioactive particles traveling through a counter in one millisecond is equal to four. So what this means is that we have a rate parameter lambda equal to four and that means that our expected value then, because this is a Poisson distribution, and we know it's a Poisson distribution because it's a discrete random variable, um, and it is has a rate parameter. So what that means is that it's a number of successes over a period of time. And so the expected value for that is just going to be equal to lambda, which is equal to 4. So the expected number of particles to go through the counter in one millisecond is equal to 4, and the standard deviation of x is simply equal to the square root of the variance, which the variance happens to also be equal to lambda. So this is the square root of 4, which is equal to simply just 2. All right, so that is our standard deviation. Now what is the probability x is 1 or less? That is the probability that x is equal to or less than 1. Same thing. This is equal to the probability that x is equal to 0 plus the probability that x is equal to 1, which is equal to, um, just in general, the p of x, the probability mass function for a Poisson distribution, is equal to lambda x e to the negative lambda over x factorial. So in this case, our lambda is equal to 4. So that means that we're going to get 4 to the 0 power times e to the negative 4 over 0 factorial plus 4 to the first e to the negative 4 over 1 factorial. Okay, and so just as a heads up, 0 factorial, again, is just equal to 1, and so this value right here, you don't need to think that you're dividing by 0 or anything, so um, just as a heads up. So this is just simplified e to the negative 4 plus then 4 times e to the negative 4, which is equal to 0 0.01832. Plus 0 0.07326, which is in total equal to 0 0.09158. All right, so the likelihood that one or fewer particles go through the counter is 0 0.090158. All right, and so for the last problem, it says, what is the probability x is greater than 2? So this is the probability of x greater than 2, which is the same then as um, the number of particles being 3, 4, 5, 6, and all the way up to infinity, right? So to solve this problem, we can't actually solve it by adding um, up the values that, are, that we're interested in. We have to take the complement. So 1 minus the probability, the complement, of the probability of x greater than 2, so complement, is simply just then equal to 1 minus the probability that x is equal to 0 plus the probability of x equal to 1 plus the probability of x equal to 2. So these are all the values that are not greater than 2. So luckily, we've already calculated the probabilities of 0 and 1, and we just have to be left with 2. So just in notation, if we want to write this out, it's just 4 to the 0, 0 power, e to the negative 4 over 0 factorial plus 4 to the first, e to the negative fourth over 1 factorial plus 4 to the second power, e to the negative fourth over 2 factorial. All right, and so this is then equal to, if we calculate this expression, so again, let me rewrite this. This is equal to 1 minus this stuff here. This is 1 minus 
that's what this expression is equal to, and so 1 minus that is equal to 0 0.76. One nine zero, and that is the probability that x is greater than two. So the number of particles that are going through the counter, the likelihood that that is more than two, is equal to point seven six one nine zero.